Hi guys, welcome to Animation Juice. My name is Richard and it's Thursday, which means it's time for another quick design tip. And in this week's quick tip, I want to share with you a really great lighting technique that you can use to your uh, character designs, usually at the end of your design, just to uh, make things look a little bit zingier and a little bit cooler. So let's jump in. Hey guys, so here we are in Photoshop. Now, what you're gonna need to do is make a new layer, convert that layer to overlay, knock the opacity down to about 30-ish percent, somewhere between 30 and 50% opacity works pretty well for this technique. And then what you need to do is get a soft brush, quite large, and pick a color. In this, I'm just gonna pick a any like a nice yellow is quite nice but really any color works quite well with this technique and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start adding a little bit of um, rim lighting to this guy now this works just as well in black and white or with a color piece in fact it probably works a little bit better in color um, I'm just going to finish this piece off with a little bit of this lighting. Now I'm going to just knock our opacity down just a little bit actually. In fact, I'm going to knock it down quite low, 20, just under 30%. Um, this is quite a high contrast piece, so just something just to give a subtle colour to the thing. Now the reason that you can set this to normal and knock the opacity down to 20-30%. But the reason that I've chosen an overlay is because not only do add, does it add a bit of colour, but it also intensifies the colour and the value, I think, as well. It just makes things look a little bit more um, intense, which I really like. Um, and all I'm doing is I'm applying it just to the edge of this guy. This, this technique usually works best as well on the edges of your characters, not in the middle, somewhere on the edge. Either left or right works equally well. Um, and also, your brush also wants to be quite, um, quite large. Play with your opacity on your, on, your, on your brush as well. Usually I like to keep this at 100%, but you know, if you want to layer it up a little bit, just knock that down to say 75%. And Start adding a little bit of lighting here and there, keeping it just to the edge. And notice I'm adding this um, lighting to the same edges. So on this piece, I'm adding it only to the left of edges. So this guy's claws, Wolverine's claws, I'm adding it to the left edge of his claw, I'm adding it to the left edge of his clothes, to the left edge of his brow to the left edge of his hair you know be consistent with uh, where you're adding it and then once you've once you're happy with adding it on one side then switch get another layer new layer make it a overlay again knock it again down to 25 percent say it's, it's quite rough and add another colour, and you can just pick any colour you like. I'm just going to pick like a sort of a, a purpley blue. I think it was uh, quite nice. And then just start adding it to the opposite edge. So we added all the yellow lighting to the left. Let's now add this um, purpley blue lighting to the right. And you can really play around with the colors what I suppose we're really doing is adding a you know, sort of a bounce light but just exaggerating the colors of that bounce light a little bit and choosing crazy uh, a crazy lighting scenario where he's got a really bright warm explosion light perhaps on his left and then by contrast we've got a cooler blue and that's uh, another thing to know, whilst it's fun just to pick any colour, I find that usually it works best when you add one side is sort of um, 
a warmer yellowy reddy orange and the opposite side is a cooler bluey greeny purple that's a general rule but it tends to work but this is a great technique that you can just play around with it you know I think I might have gone a little bit overboard with the hair but that's fine you can just like, knock it back And so you can just play around with it and then you, you end up with, you can turn those off, you just end up with a really cool um, uh, lighting to your grayscale or to your colour character. Um, and it just makes things look a little cooler, a little bit more zingier. And like I say, the overlay layer as opposed to just knocking down the opacity in a normal uh, or a soft light layer is the overlay just intensifies the um, and the, the, the value, you know, the blacks and whites, just a little bit. Um, and that is how, that is a really quick lighting technique. What was that, two minutes? And it's a really great thing to add at the end of your piece once you've added in the normal sort of, your normal um, lighting and shadow. Add this overlay technique right at the very end just to add in a bit of crazy colour lighting to your, to your piece. So. I hope that was useful to you guys, and um, see you next time. That's it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a really great technique, really quick, really easy, but it's going to enhance your designs no end. So if you like this video, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment, and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest videos as they come out. By the way, if you haven't had a chance to look at our new resource ebook, it's the Book of 100 Classic Cartoon Hands. It's a fantastic resource for any animator, car character designer, cartoonist, anyone who wishes to but get better at drawing the cartoon hand in all different uh, forms and shapes and positions and holding different objects and also a step-by-step -step guide as to how to render it. Uh, it's a fantastic book. The link is on the screen now so go ahead and check it out. Until next week guys, have a great week and I'll see you later.